let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Come be back for the design of eccentric isolated footing by Excel part two. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to apply all those formula that I have discussed in my combi pack for the design of eccentric isolated footing by Excel part one. Today I'm going to discuss on footing type, cocentric footing and uniaxial eccentric footing. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Now I am switching over to Excel spreadsheet for numerical calculation. Welcome to my Excel spreadsheet. As usual, this is our load case and loads. Now we have to select the type of footing we are going to analyze. We are going to analyze cocentric footing, that is footing number one. Look here, all this color is green. That means okay. Say we have put here LX in LX one meter and LZ two meter. Column size 250 by 250. DE 0 0.15, DF 0.25. Our design is not okay. Why not okay? We have considered Bearing capacity, net bearing capacity of soil, 110 kilonewton per meter square. We have provided one by one footing. Now I'm going to change here. 1.8 meter by 1.8 meter. Design is okay. When we are going to analyze Cocentric footing, it may be trapezoidal or flat type. If it is flat type, then it is also okay. Now we can reduce here DF 0.15. Look here in seismic load case, it is not applicable. 0.2, it is applicable. Now look, spacing a bar. 16 to 125, I'm giving here 12 to 150, 12 to 150. Still, let us check the design. That means design is not okay. Look here, ME or BD square very high so we have to change de point to and df also point to and design is okay before start of the lecture on eccentric footing i must have to say that footing with extreme eccentricity is theoretically possible for the footing under main structure of a building, but it will be impractical. So we have to restrict the use of extreme eccentric footing to less important structures such as boundary wall, etc. Say our eccentricity in X direction, positive direction. So it will be number two. Now we have to put here eccentricity. Say it is 0.3. Change the length of the footing 2 meter LX 2 meter LZ. Okay. Punching shear space. Okay. Now we have to change the value DE. 0.25. DF cannot be less than DE, so it will be also 0.25. 
to see the spacing. We have to increase point three, point three B, point three BA. Now design is okay. Now I'm selecting eccentricity minus x direction. So we have to give here minus. Now it is okay, design is okay. Now I'm giving eccentricity in z direction, z plus direction. We have to change 0, 0.3. Design is not okay. Why? You see along z axis, design is not okay. So we have to decrease the spacing. Okay. Now I'm going to eccentricity in, in minus z direction. Minus. Okay. And design is also okay. And this is all about my combi pack for the design of eccentric footing part 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week I'm going to release part 3. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also evaluate my performance with your valuable likes, share and comments. Thank you.